when we have an emotion, whether it is fear or joy, um, whether we have aspects of reward or punishment, we have processes that have been established by evolution long ago in animals that are far simpler than we are and that are aimed at giving rapid answers to problems that face an organism. When you have an emotion, when you have the emotion fear, for example, you allow the organism that has it, and by the way, this can go all the way down to invertebrates, you allow the organism to respond even without you thinking, and even in organisms that can't think. So you can see the beauty of evolution giving emotions to creatures because that would be a way of saving them. That would be a way of allowing them to stay away from a threat or endorse an opportunity. A threat, for example, from a predator uh, or from some kind of environmental danger, opportunities that largely come in the form of food and sex. So the emotions guide an organism, even if it does not think, into behavior that is conducive to the betterment of the organism and the survival of the organism. But let's make this clear, we are emoting all the time. There is no such thing as a mind without emotion. We have a mind with images flowing, all those interesting things, pictures of the world or sounds of the world, and we also have in response to every one of those images, some kind of emotion and some kind of feeling that comes on the heels of that emotion. So we are not necessarily thinking machines. We are feeling machines that think. Now, the, when we acquire this great beauty of our minds with, with the profusion of images that we generate in the cerebral cortex. We can then combine them with the images that are being generated out of emotions and which are called feelings of emotion. And it is this complexity that allows us to not just respond with stock answers, which are the emotional answers, you could call them the animal responses, but also with ways in which we use reasoning, we use knowledge, we use logic, and that allows us to construct responses that are different from the emotional ones. So if you come and provoke me and you hit me, instead of my responding by shooting a gun at you, I might decide to argue with you. And we, we have that shift that occurs especially in human beings, when they have the possibility of not resolving everything by deploying an emotion. They have the possibility of thinking with emotions and in parallel to emotions, and in fact, even control emotional responses, uh, the anger response and the fear response being quite typical, and also a variety of other responses, like, for example, the responses we have to sexual desire or to food desires. Uh, we don't necessarily do everything that we would like to do. Uh, we have a way of curbing those um, appetites and enthusiasms. And, and, and that's the richness that our mind has uh, reached. But let's be very attentive to this. The fact that we are capable of thinking, reasoning, and having this incredible construction uh, at the very high level of the mind does not mean that we have forgotten about emotions. The emotions are still here, and the feelings are still here, and they are accompanying everything we do. So uh, we have uh, the best of both worlds. We have the emotional world that animals have uh, with their guidance, sort of autopilot guidance systems, which are very convenient. And then we have this other layer of complexity that we have put on top of it, which comes out of our rich minds in a society with lots of interactions with other creatures and in which knowledge and logic uh, and reasoning allow us to modify the responses of emotions or create responses that are entirely new. So, for example, the, 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 the big change from coercive power uh, to the power of reason is one of the major changes 
in cultures, which of course is expressed in lesser violence, which is quite dominant today. We realize that there's much less violence today than there used to be, say, 300 years ago, and even 100 years ago. The world is pretty bad as it is, but it's much better than it used to be. And that is a result of this continued uh, accrual of knowledge and reasoning that goes against certain basic emotional responses.